It's amazing uh, the changes that are going on in society in the last oh, 10 to 20 years perhaps and the last, certainly the last 25 and 30 years things have really, really gone bad in various places. You will know, uh, and as I'm recording this, it's the 18th of September, that uh, Britain has been blessed, <laughs> if that's how, you know, blessed, um, with a visit from the Pope of Rome, known to Christians as the Antichrist. Uh, this amounts, effectively, in our eyes, of course, to a state visit from Satan. And, unfortunately, such is the level of Christian knowledge in the UK now that most people have absolutely no idea what the truth on this is, and they still less care, sadly. And, as I see it, uh, we are in very interesting times indeed, very interesting. We have all seen perhaps pictures of Her Majesty the Queen, and if you don't happen to know that, is Head of State in the UK, being forced to receive uh, Mr Ratzinger from the Vatican, that's Ratty from the Vatty, as if he's t as Head of State and proper uh, politician. And we have seen Her Majesty the Queen being forced to address him as Your Holiness. If there's anything holy about him, uh, then I'm the Queen of China. Her Majesty the Queen is titular head of the Church of England. When God raised up a wicked man called Henry VIII to break the power of the Antichrist, so uh, he got inserted in between the Christian killing Catholics, and God knows they've murdered an awful lot of people through history, he put uh, the Church of England in between uh, the Christian killing Catholics and the actual Christians. And I've spoken about that before. Now we have Her Majesty the Queen being forced to greet Satan in the form of the Antichrist, old Ratty from the Vatty, Mr Ratzinger. She should have been advised to address him as Mr Ratzinger and tell him that his religion stinks and that the blasphemous garbage of the, of the Mass, the filthy lying uh, blasphemous right of the Mass is as unacceptable in the UK today as it was at the time of Henry VIII. But unfortunately it's gone rather farther than that now. I accept of course that, the, that England, Britain is not a Christian country and the Lord God's Kingdom is not built at this level. So, what are we going to say to all this? We can see that the devil is drawing together Babylon and you know that the, the cult of the dead woman, which is the main stay, the main uh, block, building block of Babylon that you see in Revelation 17 and 18, we know that, uh, that Satan is drawing it all together. We see him who is supposed to be the head of the Church of England, the Archbishop of Canterbury, who previous archbishops before him would have been absolutely stunned and horrified to see uh, a Protestant Archbishop greeting Satan to Lambeth Palace and being part of a church service with the devil, which is effectively what's going on. Having allowed this wicked visit, we've seen Mr. Ratzinger, Ratty from the Vatty, driving around in his disabled vehicle, you know, that one like people you with wheelchairs use, uh, driving around in that disabled vehicle, waving in a maniacal fashion at all the people who've come to worship him. And of course it is worship, because worship comes from a Greek word, simply means to kiss towards. Kiss towards, that's all it means. 
and whatever you kiss towards, you venerate, you respect, etc., you worship. Okay? People do it to pop stars, film stars, sports teams, and all sorts of stuff. That's worship in the eyes of God. We see people worshipping the Antichrist. The Antichrist has been identified thoroughly and exactly over time, and everybody should know who he is. The blasphemous filth of the Mass was debunked by Christians since the Reformation thoroughly and exactly, and no one can say they didn't know. But here we have Satan being received in places he shouldn't be. There are pictures of the Archdeviant of Canterbury, who actually isn't saved, of course, he's just a pagan druid man, um, greeting with a uh, greeting warmly the, the Antichrist. We have the British Prime Minister, Mr. Cameron, talking about the Pope has a lot to give the country in this multi-faith and interfaith, multicultural society that we're in, and a, a lot to lend into, a lot to give into the interfaith dialogue. There is no interfaith dialogue, except you are also with the devil. We don't debate with the devil. We don't do any of this stuff, do we? We don't uh, bother with uh, the pagan religions. We just let them get on with it. We don't dialogue with the devil. We are those who have the real thing. Unfortunately, the vast majority of church people only have church. They are rags, R-A-G's, religious about God. They neither know, believe or obey the Lord Jesus Christ, in which case, of course, if they're calling themselves Christians, they're no better than Satan from Satan Central in Rome himself. Are they? So let's call him what he is. Ratty from the Vatty, and seeing as he's a wee bit crazy and he's stupid waving and he's frolicking around in ridiculous frocks with silly sticks and silly hats, which is all completely insane, let's call him Batty Ratty from the Vatty, shall we? Satan is trying to regroup and rebuild Babylon, and I believe this is just before he comes again, Jesus comes again. We are seeing all the apostate, deviant churches now losing their identity and teaming up in interfaith and ecumenical dialogue with any amount of Satanists going, anything that's locally. Mr. Ratzinger is Satan's man. He does head up Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, the harlot in scarlet that you see in Revelation 17 and 18. And there's no question whatever that that's what it's talking about, what the Lord's talking about in Revelation 17 and 18. And all Christians from the past, great men of God, all held what I've just said. There's no question whatsoever that Satan is trying to build Babylon. Now is the time, and where some of us have heard that, come out of her, my people, touch not the unclean thing. And you know, it speaks about, in that text, speaks about Babylon becoming the cage of every hateful bird, etc., etc. You know that text. Now you have Satan's man doing the blasphemous evil filth of the mass publicly in the UK, and we have society that no longer knows just how evil that is in its sad. Add to that that the Antichrist went to uh, Westminster Hall yesterday to speak there to the MPs and all the MPs and dignitaries, MPs of the past, Buggery Brown from Buggery Brown and Sodomite Town, the previous Prime Minister, where there was Tony Ten from Tony Ten and the Sodomite Men, there was Margaret Thatcher. There were all sorts of people there and all the MPs were there, or most of the MPs were there. 
and they all applauded, applauded Satan. How can they do that? Because they're children of the devil too. And this is their ground, of course. Their ground is that they're all children of the devil. They're all hostile to the Lord God of Israel. They don't all see eye to eye on absolutely everything, but they all absolutely hate Christians and the true God and the true gospel. They all absolutely hate us. They're all ABCs, anything but Christian. All of them. We have them falling over themselves to see who can get into bed with the most pagan, satanic religions going. Who is the most pervophile? Who is very much for the ordination of women and, and all this kind of stuff? But, um, you know, there's no one straining for the truths of God. No one, except us, of course. As we are outsiders and stand back in God and look at this other camp, because it is, you know, we mustn't let uh, the devil uh, get us spending our time trying to build the kingdom of God on this earth. You can't do it because his kingdom's not in this world and we can't build his kingdom anyway. However, we, uh, when we stand back and look at all this lot, we have these great big get-togethers, Batty Ratty from the Vatty, who's going up to Coventry now and is going to make a saint, which is another utter, total, blasphemous garbage debunked from the Reformation uh, times uh, to the present day. No human being can make a saint. A saint equals normal, bog-standard, genuinely saved, actual Christian, born again of the Holy Spirit of God, and that term saint is used interchangeably with believers, brethren, the Lord's people and such things. It does not mean super Christian or godlit as held by the poor benighted papists. The Antichrist, the false or anointed one, is trying to draw it all together. And I believe he possibly will. And the Lord's, the Lord's using this to pull everything together uh, and so that they're all in one sharp, clear camp and that there's no fuzziness between the camps anymore. And you'll see, you know, uh, people like the Baptists throwing away their heritage and, and joining up with the devil in ecumenical dialogue and what have you and all this stuff. But it is tragic to see Britain going the way it is and the United States too, of course, and elsewhere in the world. They all see that as a good thing because it feels good to them because it very much agrees with the satanic nature that they were born with and they've never been born again, of course. And they'll think this is all very wonderful. And they'll see you, me, uh, as bigoted and fundamentalists. You hear, you know, the Antichrist speaking about those of fundamentalist theologies. We're not of a theology. Because he doesn't have God, he doesn't know that God's people have God. But we are with God. We have God and they do not. This world is not where our kingdom is. We don't belong here. We are saved out of the world and all those people are burned alive anyway. The idea that the Antichrist can make saints just shows his position that he thinks he is God on earth. He thinks that he can do the work of God, equal to God, when actually only God makes saints. A saint is a bog standard, born again, genuinely saved person. And the Antichrist can't save people, even if he wanted to. So let's call Batty Ratty what he is. Ratty from the Vati is unspeakable wickedness and it's interesting to notice that he now speaks with, he speaks with a German accent which is very interesting seeing as the British people fought two world wars to stop the Europeans from running this country and now we have the Antichrist here speaking with a German accent and there he is making pronouncements as though he is the spiritual leader in this country and instructing the British people. Let's pray. God curse the Pope, God burn the Pope, God save his people.
from the Pope.